Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I'm joined by Tom from CI Games. Tom, we're looking at Sniper Ghost Warrior 3. This game is uh, one of those almost sleeper hits where right. it's huge, but nobody, it's it's like not quite talked about in the mm -hmm. same way, but it, a lot of people play this, this series, a lot of people love it. Uh, what have you guys got going on here with the new one? Um, so in this this demo, we actually have uh, a, a new map and a new mission that is completely exclusive to IGN. So we'll take it. all you good people watching this channel, this is all for you. Uh, we are at the sniper safe house, and we're gonna start with modifying our weapons. Um, as you can see, the scope on this rifle is actually pretty small. I'm gonna think of Let's something. Pump it up. Yeah. There we go. It's going to definitely need that one. And I'm also going to put some suppressors on my rifles. Always good to stay quiet. It is. They are degradable, though, so you'll have to watch out for that. So you've got some cash in the bank here, but you're going to earn that money to buy these things from, I'm guessing, m completing mission objectives, doing sort of side quests or, you know, sort of other side objectives, other things like that. Yes, you can also find it on uh, enemy corpses, nice. uh, in the in the enemy outposts, uh, and uh, like money is not the only currency. You can also have uh, uh, resources that you can use to craft consumables on okay. a workbench like that. So we're gonna play a mission where we're gonna be tasked with uh, taking out a uh, a guy that is part of a criminal movement in in this region in Georgia that hijacks humanitarian relief and okay. takes out takes their medication and hoards them for himself. So we are John North. Okay. We're in Georgia uh, and we're here to The country, not the state. Yes, sir. <laughs> and we're here to uh stop local separatist cells from taking over this entire territory. They've effectively cordoned off this entire part of the country uh and They've stopped Georgian defense forces from uh, launching a, uh, you know, a, a taking back of uh, this this territory. So okay. we are here to neutralize those high valley targets. Uh, this one is actually a side mission where we are working. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's just the bumps in the road. Uh, we <laughs> we're gonna be working with a resistance movement that is trying to fight the separatists here uh, so we're gonna help them out and uh, we're gonna bring them those those meds that were taken excellent now, if did you want to take a look you showed me earlier off camera take a look at the map real quick and you can see yes. how big the play space is because you've got we've got pretty much free reign to do whatever we want here yeah so this is just the the demo area this is the the one mission that we can play on this new map but in in the grand scheme of things, uh, it's just a little bit of real estate. The maps are roughly about nine square kilometers each. Nice. Uh, the playable space is slightly smaller, but mm -hmm. it's still a lot of real estate. And we have three maps like that in the game. Oh wow! Okay. Um, they are separate environments. We wanted to do that to kind of make them more diverse, uh, make them look and play and feel differently. Um. Now let's get in there. All right. So on this side mission, we're assisting the resistance, um, but the resistance and the separatists are just the official agenda, like the mission that John was sent into this region for. But we're also privately looking for our brother, Robert, who has been abducted, and we've had reports of sightings in this area. So we want to find him find out what happened to him and get him out of there. Yeah, kill two uh, birds with one stone, as, oh yeah. so to speak. <laughs> uh, so Robert is our main target. Like This is a story that's character-driven. We want to have this conflict between two brothers really shown in this game. It's not about yeah. saving the world. It's not just about saving <laughs> the world, because obviously you're, you're saving a part of, uh, part of, uh, of a country. But yeah, it's going to be about Robert and John and their relationship. So before I actually infiltrate this location, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my drone. And it doesn't matter how you want to approach one of the missions or any of them. Um, you're going to have to do recon first because... You if know, you're a sniper, you don't want to go in without knowledge of what you're heading into. That is very true. And that's what I'm going to do right now. See that the enemies are tagged automatically. I'm also seeing some civilians. 
Uh, now, the civilians in this village, like, if you take your time and actually, uh, you know, infiltrate this silently and look to, uh, listen to their conversations, you're going to hear, you know, about them. Alright, this is the guy. Okay. Uh, you're going to hear that they're actually not working with the enemy. They're just, you know, victims in this struggle. So this is my guy. I got to take him out, grab his keys to his stash, and deliver the meds to my resistance contact. So if uh, I guess if you wanted, you could try to wait and see if he isolates himself and just go focus on him and get in and loot the body and be out of there without bothering anybody else, or you could wipe out every single one of these guys. Yes. Oh, uh, Sniper is actually close to noticing me. I am going to bail out just so he doesn't uh, alert everybody on this outpost. Yeah, I'm glad you're playing now because I played a minute ago and it didn't go that well for me. I My drone got spotted and shot down right away. Yeah, but... You know, this led to enemies converging onto one location, and you just picked them off. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was kind of a, a shooting gallery, yeah. which worked out nicely for me and my sniper rifle. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use scout mode. Uh, this is a you know like a sniper sense that mm -hmm. it it lets you see what John sees in the environment. Gotcha. So all these ledges, all these uh, highlighted ledges, you can climb those, and try to get up top. I actually climb the yeah climb the balcony and try and not bother anyone just yet. I might take out this guy. Uh although I wanna start uh <laughs> by being undetected. Alright, so I see the distance to my target at the thirty eight meters, he's pretty close. Yeah, I'm not gonna set the the scope, but this is gonna be very important when taking out uh, targets from a distance. Oh, in the face! <laughs> I nobody saw that. We're still good to go. And you've got that dynamic weather to cover you a little bit there too. Yeah. Uh, so the weather and the light level, so time of day, is actually very important to gameplay uh, because it's going to influence how well the enemies are going to see you. Interesting. All right, so the lady okay. here is a civilian. She's not of interest to me, but there is a gentleman right here. I'm gonna wait for him. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna oh do. Is I'm, I'm gonna interrogate him. Where's your fucking boss? Where is he? He's over there. Alright, so depending. See, you could have. All you had to do was ask nicely, Tom. Yeah. Was, <laughs> That's all him. you had to do. Just for good measure. <laughs> I'm gonna take his. Stuff. Check his wallet. Yeah. Alright, so. Depending on what kind of mission parameters you have, uh, they're going to tell you different things. Like, uh, right now I'm looking for a specific person, so I'm going to find out where that person is. If I were looking for a target, uh, some cargo, or just, you know, uh, roaming around the world, they might have uh, told me where their uh, comrades were. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to climb here. Might be tough. Yeah, I'm going to have to find a better spot. The one thing I really liked about this when I played a, a little while ago is the... Oh, oh no. you're good. Still yeah. breathing. The uh, the title of the game is sort uh. of literally part of the gameplay. At the end of this, you're going to get rated for how well you did as a sniper, how well you did as a ghost, and how well you did as a warrior. And you were telling me that will actually reward you later on. Yeah, uh, so once you get those experience points, you can upgrade your skills in those three paths that you just said, the Sniper, the Ghost, and the Warrior. And this lets you be even more deadly as a Sniper if you want to play that way mainly. Which I do. Yes, you do. So you're going to have longer breath holding, uh, faster bolt action reloads. Nice. And all that good stuff that lets you, you know, be a really deadly Sniper. So I, I think I'm going to take care of this. Oh, there's a little kitty cat. Hey, buddy. What's Cat on a hot on? tin roof. Yeah. Yeah, what I really liked about this, uh, honestly, is this was the first time I played just before we recorded this video. Is this reminds me a lot of old school Ghost Recon. Is that a, is that a fair thing to say? Is I that, guess uh, so, Does that make yes. me feel good? I hope to, to hear it that way. Ooh. All right. His scope didn't fall, fortunately. Um, oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, I'm no. I'm going to go ahead. No. Yeah. 
Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to take his. Oh, that was the target, too? That was. That him. was impressive. That was very heroic of you. To, <laughs> oh, you could have taken out that red barrel there, that explosive barrel. Yeah, that but that would have <laughs> been real, yeah. real messy later, I guess. Yeah, everybody would have uh, become uh, alerted. What you can do also to stay undetected oh, is nice. grab those lights. That's so, great. Yeah. I'm going to have to. A little splinter cell mixed in with your yeah, Ghost Recon to. style gameplay here. Yeah, the self, stealth aspect is actually a big part of the game. Uh, oh, oop, missed. You got this. There it is. Yep. Okie dokie. I'm still, I got a re lot of terrain and a lot of enemies between me oh, and, and you, don't have the, you don't quite have the weather cover anymore now, just the cover of night. I do have a zip line at the top of this building, though, which might come in handy. Uh, let me see if I can find the way up. You got this. It's going to be... <laughs> nice. Got it. Hope nobody's going to spot me. It's night, so... Not as, w not as visible. Uh -oh. oh no! <laughs> Spoke yeah. too soon. Oof! All right, just some fall S damage. That was smooth right there. That's just some fall damage. You know, John's got good ankles. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna switch to the assault rifle. Is that a civilian? Yes. So as is. a as a stealth uh, loving gamer i've got to ask you one question and that's uh you know you've got so many different options to play with here do you get rewarded for uh not killing guys just sneaking by quietly is there a um, reward in here for that somehow there is a reward in in the form of uh ghost points excellent that's so, sorry so that goes into the ghost category that makes yes. sense um Although silent takedowns and interrogations also reward you. Like, we, w we don't want to have a situation where this is the main strategy. Like, uh, every style of play will be supported. Yeah. But I have not shown you the warrior style, so I you just... get loud here? I will try. Right. It's like, cause you, you're in the clear. <laughs> you can just walk out. Yeah. All right, I'm going to make some noise, lose the suppressor. But I guess the proof uh, is in the pudding here. Yeah. And just go wild. All right. I got a couple guys. I don't have grenades, though, which would have made things easier. Well, now they know you're here. All right. That's a big guy. <laughs> oh, that's oh. a bad time to reload. Oh, you brought this on yourself, Tom. I did. I most certainly did. Well, let's uh, – can, can we finish up real quick so we can see that sniper ghost and warrior scoring at the end there? But it, that was the price you paid. You run the risk. Yeah. All right. Well, you're in good shape here. All right. I have my weapons. I just have to cross the road. Just check if no military patrols are coming. Uh, so, yeah, my warrior experience was not <laughs> But you proved optimal. it could be done. You just had to, yeah, you, you happened to reload at a real bad time. At a middle of a, in the middle of a street. <laughs> with in, a, in the middle of a firefight. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you really need to uh, cover, use cover, and uh, bait your enemies. They're not gonna just blindly walk um, over the corners. So you can wait for them and pick them off one by one. They're gonna try and flank you. They're gonna throw grenades. So right. it's good to leave traps. You have mines. You can leave those. And um, yeah, you you sh when I played, uh, we saw if if you are sniping and they can't see you but they know you're there they, they'll start launching mortars just to try and flush you out yeah that's what they do uh especially if they if they don't know your exact location yeah. they just know your direction all right so you see my ghost path nicely done and my sniper path i, I actually just took one guy out as a sniper i think but well, my ghost ghosted path was, it yeah yeah ghosted and it pretty well i like that so uh, again, a lot to like here. I, I really, really enjoyed my time playing this. I'm looking forward to playing more. So the, the whole game is mo is all sort of very open, open mission like that, where you yeah. can tackle it however you want. Uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 is out in April. April 4th, 2017. Perfect. Well, Tom, thank you so much. And for much more on Sniper Ghost Warrior 3, be sure to keep it tuned right here to IGN. <laughs>